If you are someone like me who hate the idea of selling, then this video is for you. Today, we are going to talk about how to create content that sells your coaching service. One of the biggest struggles, a lot of the coaches that come into my world are the one who don't like selling. The idea of promoting themselves is just not something that's very comfortable. And a lot of coaches, including myself, I came from a background of healthcare. So most people come to me rather than me going to them. So initially, when I first started out my coaching business, I was struggling with how do I get people to sign up to my one-on-one -on -one program and how do I actually get them to just book a call with me? And if you're having trouble getting people to sign up and book a call with you, then chances are there's a missing link and there's a missing piece of how you get them onto that discovery call. So today we're going to tackle that one very important thing and probably the only thing that you need to do if you want to use your content to sell your coaching package. If you are new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a disability marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their marketing so that they can get seen get hurt and get paying clients even if you're working a full-time job and a lot of what I teach and what I talk about on this channel is how do you leverage your content and your social media online presence so that your ideal paying clients can find you and they know exactly where you exist if that sounds like you please be sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know what is your current niche or the niche that you've been thinking about that you would like to create content around. And if you have any ideas that you wanted to hear from me, also drop it into the comment. I will make sure to add that in my next video so that you will get the full benefit of by subscribing to this channel. And we just surpassed 200 subscribers. And it is my mission to make sure that I grow this channel with your support, with your love, so I can create better content on this channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to create content to sell your coaching package. Last week, I asked my community member, like, if you were to think about where you are in your coaching business, and that's think of it in the context of four season. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. And majority of my audience chose summer. It's about creating content that sells their package. How do you create content to sell your coaching package? And if you're someone who's struggling to get a discovery call or actually having people jumping on and wanting to jump on to your booking a call with you, then this video is a must watch for you. ConvertKit came out with this 2023 state of creator economy that had talked about the top 10 most common creator type. It is no surprise that coaches and bloggers and also educators are among the top 10 of all the content create creator that's out there. And if you think about it, coaches are constantly creating social media posts, blog posts, videos, such as this one, to provide valuable knowledge to their potential clients who will come and consume their content on a constant basis. And the top 10 goal for most of these content creators are either to grow an audience, to grow the income, or actually to building an engaging relationship with their audience. So if you're not leveraging your social media content, maybe starting today, you should, because you are among the top four that are constantly putting out all these valuable information to help moving the world, changing the perspective, providing educational content, and also delivering values. But one of the biggest struggles that a lot of coaches are having is how do I create that piece of content that would become my 24 seven sales force so I don't have to do all the selling myself. And most of us starting from scratch, a lot of us don't have marketing experiences, but we know how to provide values. So exactly how do you create content that would actually sell your package? 
Number one is you need to be clear on the outcome and the transformation that you're helping your client to achieve. So let's say in the past, I work as a confidence coach when I first started out my journey. And one of the biggest problems that I was helping people to solve in order to get their confidence was to eliminate or minimize their negative self-talk. So I remember calling myself a negative self-talk expert because that is the problem I'm tackling. And the result of minimizing or having taking your negative self-talk into control, the result and the outcome of that is that you built that confidence that you need in moving forward, whether it's applying for a new job or looking for a new um, relationship or well, whatever that you are doing, you get this enormous amount of confidence because you're working on the negative self-talk. And that was the starting point of how I got into the business. Having that idea of if I am helping someone to overcome the negative self-talk, then you bet all my content creation is going to focus on imposter syndrome. How do you remove the negative self-talk? And if you go back to my blog post, one of my top piece of content that I have created is about how do you eliminate negative self-talk? Number two, is your message conveying the transformation? Is it conveying the uh, outcome that you have promised? A lot of coaches that I, I know of, when they create content, they tend to shift away and be more scattered. I want to cover this topic. I want to cover that topic. So they talk about X, they talk about Y, and then things are just get very scatter and by the end of the day they don't even know what they're talking about and so it is super important that every single piece of your content need to drive all the traffic back to your package and i don't mean just promoting and that is exhausting and that is tiring and it is annoying as hell because all i see on some of the coaches social media platform like facebook all i see is just all promoting when you promote too much people just tune you out and so in your message, you want to be human, which brings us to tip number three, please do not and overanalyze or overthinking this whole content creation process. Be a human, have a conversation, your potential client appreciate seeing you as someone who understand their journey. So you do not have to promo all the time in order to get a paying client. And that probably is the number one reason why your audience start muting you because every time they look at your post, it's just selling, selling, selling. And people just don't appreciate that. So please just be human, exercise your empathy, and don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it. Marketing is about relationship and it is human to human, people to people relationship. And because you have a people business, then just be human, just be out there and strike a conversation and get to know your people. The more that you understand your audience, the better off you are at content creation. So to sum up, today we talked about the three tips that I personally have practiced, used in my coaching business especially if you're working full time, especially if you don't like the salesy message, because essentially your online presence, you're so valuable being part of this big giant internet rooftop. And the way that you create content has been super helpful and you are among the top 10 content creator in this world. So by providing values, not only do you give your audience a chance and opportunity to see who you are, understanding what you do and so that they can see what is it that they need from you in order to overcome the challenge that they're experiencing. And I share three tips on how you can create content that sells your package. Number one is you want to be super clear about the outcome that you're going to provide. Number two is your message conveying that and is your brand, are you positioning yourself as such expert that would help them to overcome that challenge so that they can achieve the outcome that you promised them. And then number three is just simply be human. Don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it and just go out there and start having conversation. And I, I promise you this marketing is going to be super easy and it feels like just a walk in the park. Until next time, keep shining. Keep coaching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.